as you can see pretty much uh, that's the first set of objects that we actually sorted out by the x value you can see how they just drop all of them but in our particular instance it's not really working to how we might want so what we're gonna try to do is actually kind of make it animatable so this one drops then the next one drops because as of right now it's just dropping the whole thing at once because all of them are actually less than 12 so uh, all of them drop at the same time of which that's not really the effect that we want we want something drag and all the other stuff pretty much so to get our effect kind of set up instead of just a number over here uh, I'm gonna go ahead put the edit parameter interface I'm gonna drop in a integer over here and under the parameter name, I'm gonna name it num. And the label is gonna be animate rbd world. Okay, so it's an integer, and yeah. Now you can use this number pretty much to key. Fr you can keyframe this number, but Modo keyframes, Maya keyframes, 3ds Max keyframes, XS also keyframes. All of them keyframe. We are using Houdini, man. Come on, they've got to be something new that you can do. So now this is where okay as of right now we're in dop world but while we're in dop world we're gonna actually go, go to chop world so pretty much what i'm gonna drop in next is a manager chop two network chop network and let's simulate with chops okay i know you're saying this guy is totally out of his mind but yeah that's what you get when you work with Houdini for a few days now we got this group over here and we want to change this number to this particular instance so we're going to go ahead and do that so you're going to change this to channel of the current number the name that we got so it's pretty much going to be num over here and close that enter so pretty much the number now should be changing depending on you know this particular um thing right here so now we're gonna go to chops and i got a tab set up for motion view or pretty much for um for chops or you can go to over here new tab and say motion view it depends on what you want to do uh so now we're in chops pretty much so first thing we're gonna drop is actually you can create anything so it could be a wave uh waveform it could be you can if you know how to use sequences if you do not linear editing you can have more control over this but we guys just drop in a wave in our particular instance visualize it it goes all the way out but our frames is like up to frame 800 but i mean we won't be simulating the whole thing but anyway it should work in our instance <laughs> then wave is good you can use uh pretty much anything triangle you're gonna have to mess with the settings probably depending on uh, how many frames you got and stuff then what you're gonna drop next is a count this actually just does some crazy cool stuff so as you can see right now it actually just increments the number one two three four so as you can see if i zoom in and uh, bring the numbers over here so you can see you have hola so one on the first level two on the second level three on the third level fourth so pretty much all those numbers go up to a particular instance of uh i don't know whether that's 17 or something like that i don't know but uh 17 as you see 17 so that's good enough so you might have to play around with the count and all that stuff really no settings i'm really not setting up any settings right now but what we're gonna do is actually look at how many frames this is for every single frame so right now it's actually 11 so we're gonna go to the wave over here and while visualizing the wave we want to reduce the frame time to i would say uh that looks good around about nine frames 10 frames something like that so pretty much counts it holds the frame one for a few sec the one count for a few seconds then it goes to two it holds the two for a few seconds then it goes to three and so on and so on so it pretty much goes on and on holding the few the count number for a while so it goes counting one then two then three so pretty much you're keyframing the keyframes but in chops and in uh one two how many clicks five six seven eight nine clicks and you're <laughs> anyway so you got the one two three you can see the drag depending on how many how much drag you want is how much how much space you're gonna increase right here 
so I'm gonna just assume mine is good right there so what I'm gonna do next is actually do an external and do an export uh, pretty much you want to make sure that the brown over here is selected these don't matter whether they're showing or not really doesn't matter whether they're showing or not but the brown over here has to show the export over here has to show that's a must but before I actually did that I'm actually running ahead of myself what I got over here is a channel name which is just called channel 1 so what you want to do is actually do an arrange and a rename over here and and the name you want to rename to is actually num as of right now so now what you should have is a num attribute that goes from 0 to 31 so you actually need 240 something frames obviously so what you're gonna do with this is actually select the node that you want so in my case I might go and look for that name over here and say group num so that way it just pops out and I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna select this and it's under the DARP network and it should be group num right here and say accept and the name that you the path for the name that you want to put out is actually num the one that you just created now if you go back to the level of the DARP world you should have a brown overridden uh, attribute over here and you can see it's overridden by you know that particular long name over there yada 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 long name now you go back to scene view to visualize this and what we need to do now is actually simulate this I'm gonna let it sim then I'm gonna be right back when it finishes simulating a few frames okay and we got our simulation running so pretty much as you can see now 